Hi, Romeans. I'm Drushnik. Thank you for being here and welcome to a new series in Stellaris. This time, Stellaris Federations. Yes, the long wait is over and I am so, so, so ready to jump into a new Stellaris game. And I hope that you are too. Now, if you are new to the channel, be sure to check out if you like the content, and if you do, don't forget to hit the like button and to consider subscribing, because that really does ha help out immensely. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back! I'm very happy that you are here. So, let's just get into it, okay? I am going to go over the species that I created. If you are not interested too much in that, check out the timestamp that will be in the comments below. Uh, so that you can jump right into gameplay if you so wish. However, for those who like it, I, yes, I have again thought of a species that somehow relates to Rumi and the Rumians. It is called the Groomy Collective. We will go over all their stats in a second, but let me share a little bit of their history with you. Once a peaceful and semi-sentient grass, the Grumi suffered collectively for centuries, being eaten by the Rumian hierarchy in droves. The Rumians enjoyed the short bliss they felt after eating a Grumi grass and called it catnip. But the Grumans evolved. Slowly they grew larger and larger until some of them were too thick to be eaten lazily. Advanced harvesting was the only way for Rumians to snack on Grumi. The Rumians brought advanced machinery to mass harvest Grumans, but they couldn't uproot everything. As the Grumans slowly evolved their consciousness and started to communicate with each other, some members of the species began moving autonomously. Hiding away on a remote area of Arumis, they were able to unify and grow their empire. Now, the Grumi Collective have taken to the stars and found a place to live. Far, far away from hungry cats. <laughs> I had a lot of fun writing this, uh, this background story. So what I do want to do for this playthrough is force the spawning of the Rumian hierarchy because I think that will be um, interesting and funny. Um, I, I'm not going to force any of the others. I would have liked the Organic Roomba Federation, but it uh, uses a mod. And uh, I, I, you know, I can't, I can't use mods right now. This is still the um, the preview version of Stellaris Federations. And by the way, a huge thank you to uh, to Paradox for providing me with a uh, preview key. Um, it also means that there might still be some bugs in the game that they will polish out before launch. And uh, I will be uh, updating my game into the launch version as soon as possible. Uh, however, no mods, so no organic Roomba Federation, but that's okay. We can we can live without them. Now, the Groovy Collective is a theocratic republic. They are a democracy. They are plantoids, obviously. I think they're quite cute. I mean, yeah, they're not the prettiest species we've ever played as because you know nothing is more beautiful than a pretty cat, obviously. But I, I think I think they're fun. And if we look at their their um, I, I suppose flag. They have two colors, green, green grass, and yellow for the sun, and a growth symbol. So that's, that's, their, um, that's their flag. Um, <laughs> they are weak, okay, because uh, they essentially are a piece of grass. So <laughs> I mean, they're resilient. I, I think there's a resilient trait, but they are weak. That means that their army damage is low and their worker pop resource output is minus 2.5%. They are also fleeting, well, be, you know, because they're grass. I mean, I don't know how long grass lives, but I thought it would be, I, you know, I thought it would make sense. So their leaders live a little bit shorter. They are, however, very adaptive because they, they were able to flee Arumis and find a new world somewhere else. And they are rapid breeders. Because they're grass, so, you know. <laughs> Duh. Anyway. Um, they, ha they have, as a civic, a free haven. So, pop growth from immigration plus 15%. Because they invite all the other grasses and flowers and trees to live with them. Obviously. Uh, so, their immigration pool is very good. 
They have a diplomatic core, so they have plus two available envoys and plus 10% diplomatic weight. So I'm pretty sure that you know by now what I'm leaning towards uh, as what I want to do. Um, they are fanatic xenophiles, even though they do know they need to be very careful of the Rumian hierarchy, they have now grown big enough to be able to stand on their own. I mean, they're still weak, but they're okay, and they love other species. They still love other species. And they are also spiritualist, which is good for their unity and their aided cost. Now, the thing is, with, with this, um, this species... <laughs> if somebody decides to attack me early on, I'm I'm pretty much dead. So, you know, th that's what would happen. Now, the um, origin is actually not visible on this screen, so we have to go to edit. So I chose On the Shoulders of Giants. It was a, it was a very, very difficult choice. I, I, I did like Tree of Life, and I actually wanted Tree of Life, but that does require you adopt a hive mind authority, and I didn't want to do that. Um, the other... The other one that I that I thought of was Life Seeded, um, but I don't know. You, you get a guy world with with some rare planetary features, which is which is fun. I mean, I think it's a really good origin. But I think that on the shoulders of giants, which gives you an archaeological site related to a mysterious benefactor in your home system, might be more fun. I don't know. I hope that uh, that you agree. And if you don't, well, then. Uh... That's too bad, <laughs> because I can't change it now. Uh, I mean, I can't change it now, but not when you're watching this video. But anyway, um, let's just continue and start the game. So we have the Rumian hierarchy, and other than that, we have no idea who are who is going to spawn uh, with us. And I don't think the Rumian hierarchy is going to be nice to us, but we'll see. So in terms of game details, I think I'm going to go for medium galaxy. Or should we go for a large one with 12 empires? Yeah, let's go for a large one, 12 empires. Why not? Why not? It's been a while since we've played Stellaris. We, let's make this a good one. Um, 12 AI empires, 3 advanced. Let's randomize that. 1 to 3 advanced AI starts and randomize this as well. Fallen empires, 1 to 2 marauder empires. I did reduce tech tradition cost to 0. 0.75 so that it's a little bit faster of a game. Habitable worlds, 1. Primitive Civilizations 1, Crisis Strength 1.25. Really? Do I really want that? Yeah, okay, no. No, no. Because no. I did already um, make this earlier, the mid-game start year and the end-game start year and the victory year. Now we're going to go with Captain Difficulty and all the other things are going to stay as they are. Care of Rainiers are on. Iron Man mode is off, because I want to I wanna be able to reload if need be. If something breaks, for example. Um, now, let's see. So it's going to be a little bit faster. Uh, Crisis still won. Not necessarily harder or easier, because this has been ramped up forwards. And Captain Difficulty, I think it's fine. You know, we don't want it to be too difficult. We just want to look at... Hey, what's that? 6 to 12. We just want to look at, uh, at the Federation's DLC, right? And, and all the things that it offers to us. So there we are. On the shoulders of giants. Ours is a history of oddities and inconsistencies. We found ancient city ruins older than some archaeological excavations of primitive villages. We have unearthed saws, axes, and even rifles, which far predates stone-flipped, stone-tipped spears and bows. Bows. Wow! Trojnik. Okay. Get your act together. A peculiar history did not, however, prevent us from stepping readily into a futuristic era of spaceflight. We have now managed to escape the gravity of our home planet, aiming for other planets and bodies in our solar system and beyond. We had scarcely left the atmosphere before the oddities emerged anew. Strange signals of alien origin coming from within our own solar system. Now, I did think twice about choosing this origin because the biography of this species says that they left Arumas and found a new home. So it's kind of weird that they uh, have this origin. But I imagine it this way, that we might find that grasses grow and have grown everywhere else, forever. 
maybe. And maybe our species was once high and mighty before they came to Aromis and became puny, puny little catnip grasses. I don't know. We'll see. So let's see where we are. Um, we are, ooh, at the edge of the galaxy. It's very interesting. I always either spawn at the very, very, very edge, at the end of an arm, or at the very, very center. I never, I never spawn like somewhere in the middle. Very strange. Okay. So let's, let's look at our research and our researchers. We have Stock of Yellow, who's a maniacal researcher, as is Rizome of Magenta. Really, really nice names. And Petals of Kaki. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go for physics research here, um, society research over there, and not engineering research, but minerals from jobs. So that's done. Uh, now let's take our science ship and go and explore. Now I will have to keep an eye on the ship because it only shows planets that are colonizable very, very br briefly and then they disappear again. Um, what else do we need to check? We need to look at Shiny Leaf, our our leader, who is an industrialist. So monthly minerals plus 10%, that's nice. And a fertility creature. Food from jobs plus 10%, pop growth speed plus 5%. That's nice, that's nice. And what's that? Diplomatic weight. Ooh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see the new, new features in Federations very, very soon, I think. Soon enough. But we can only see them if I unpause the game. And we have discovered an archaeological site, of course. So the archaeological site is actually in our own system. It's called Ex Gravitas, well, the site itself. A string of strange anomaly readings is emanating from the surface of Scion. We need to launch a surface excursion to find out more. Now, I will only wait for a second sunship before I start excavating that, so we'll need to wait before we can... Um, make one. Actually, we can do that right now, so let's do it. Grumman xenologists are pla practically falling over themselves to publish their takes on the recent findings of alien life. This fevered storm in the scientific community has had some negative yet temporary impact on pursuits in other fields. We can build a building here, but we don't have enough minerals yet, so that's gonna have to wait. Um, our construction ship over here, however, could already go and get us the energy from joy. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you this. So the 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 system itself is called Post Catnip because I thought it was fitting. And their home planet, well, not home because it's a new planet. It's called New Leaf. Yeah. Other than that, any name suggestions for new planets that we're going to be colonizing? for ships and for fleets are very welcome and um, I will choose the ones that I like the best so get those imaginations going please and um, give me some good suggestions now let's excavate that site I am pre-recording a few episodes so there might be a little bit of a delay before I um, am able to incorporate new names somewhere construction complete but those who have viewed all the previous Stellaris... Um, oh, I didn't check Occident, did I? Ah! Those who have viewed the previous Stellaris playthroughs do know that... Um, oh, hello. Tropical world. There we go. Do know that I do actually include the names. Okay, so let's survey Stimsis. That might be our first system. Actually, not first. Haha. <laughs> We'd have to get Fiona's first as well. But there might be planets here as well. Now, let's go get this mining station built. And I do want to now build that temple here, actually. But that costs 400, I think. Yes, 400. So we might want to speed up the game again. Uh, let's see. What else can we do? This science ship is doing the researches. Research! But... Or should I get this... The research stations going before I get the temple going? No, no, no. I want the temple first. So when the construction ship here is done... Construction complete. We might want to send it either here 
Or we're gonna wait and see if there are better planets over here. Because this is not a huge one. This is only 16 size. There might be a better one. We have recovered artifacts from an ancient alien civilization on Stimsis IV. Incredibly, this civilization, which apparently referred to itself as the Cybrax, seems to have been made up of machines that were linked together in some sort of collective consciousness. Well, that's a weird precursor. <laughs> the age of the artifacts indicate that they were active some 600,000 years ago. In this portion of the galaxy, at least. But we have learned nothing of their exact origins. According to a partial data fragment that our scientists managed to extract from one of the artifacts, the Cybrex at some point launched a crusade to destroy all sapient organic life in the galaxy. For reasons unknown. Situation log updated. Maybe we were once part of a... a two-part species, half organic, half machine, and then they decided to just kill all the grass. I don't know. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to go for discovery. Very, very standard. After that, I'm going to go for diplomacy, I think. But yeah, I want to I wanna get that uh, discovery going. Do we have 400 yet? Nope, but we do almost have it. One more tick. One more tick. There we go. Temple, give me unity. Now, and if we look at the ship designer, don't auto-generate. I don't want the iron needle. Do I have time to do this now? Make an interceptor with two red lasers and a mass driver. Oh dear. Nope. Hang on. Hang on. I'm busy. I'm busy. Auto upgrade. Give it a name. You you give me better names, okay? It's up to you to give me better names. But I, w I just wanted to get rid of the auto ship here. Boom. I'm gonna get better ships soon. Um, let's see. Oh, we found our first um, the first step in our dig site. A base of operations has been set up on the surface of Scion, and several teams are now en route to the various anomaly sites that our scanners picked up. The significance of this mystery is simply unparalleled. And the scientific community is absolutely buzzing with theories and anticipation over what will be uncovered by the excursion teams. So we get a minor artifact for that and a clue. Mm -mm -mm. System survey complete. Yes, thank you. Um, you go there. I need to keep an eye on this now, though. Because otherwise I'm going to miss miss it again. I, I did say it. You gotta keep an eye on it, because otherwise you miss planets. And I missed two systems. Dum dum. Oh, there we go. See? Arctic world? New. No. Keep going. Ooh, again? Wow, that's fast. Tempers are running high at the archaeology site on Scion, and several archaeologists are openly disagreeing with Stalker Silver about how best to proceed. Progress at the site has been slow to a crawl. Well, that's not good. Minus three clues. Did I say progress? Progress. What's the difference? You make that. Thank you. You have no planet? No planet? No, no planet. No, no planet. Okay. Um, survey. Actually, no. No, no, no. Survey this first. Thank you. Then survey that. Because I need to get over there, obviously. We have a pop without a job, but that's not going to last long. There you go. Fix it for you. Am I not the greatest leader you've ever seen? <laughs> the governor here is called Franz of Blue. And it's just good for himself. That's a bad governor if I ever saw one. Can we get a new governor? I don't like this governor. Oh, hello. Yes, let's increase survey speed because we need it. Okay, governor. Governor? Can we get a better one? Administrative cap from bureaucrats plus 10%. That's new. None of them are really impressive. Let's wait. I mean, I do like the administrative cap one. Better than I like the others. Anomaly found. We have an anomaly, but let's leave that be for now, because we want to we wanna expand. Okay, most excursion teams have reached their destinations and reported back. Artifacts buried in the ground have been uncovered. Head scientist stock of silver describes them as highly accurate galactic laser pointers. Yes, kitty cats and laser pointers! I knew it! Ancient machines that are emitting a strong, <laughs> tight ultraviolet beam out into space for purposes unknown. It is a bittersweet discovery, the profound, exhilarating importance of alien artifacts countered by their seemingly arbitrary purpose. Laser pointers, la la la. Okay, 
Um, I would like another science ship, actually. System survey complete. Because we are currently lacking science ship capacity because one of them is excavating and not doing other cool stuff. Which is unacceptable, if you ask me. And I want to go out and survey that, too. I want to go out and survey everything. But I'm thinking this is more important than that arm. So let's, let's after this, go... No. Go here. Okay, hang on. Mm, 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 mm. Let's get more research alternatives. Oh, hang on. We got another ship. Nothing special. Ah! Eh. Okay, let's get the youngest. Petals of black. Petals of black. You go... Are you the one? Yeah. Survey. And... Yeah, go that way. Survey. Survey. Okay. Now we are building the starbase over here, and then we're gonna go Anomaly to Stimsis. Wow. Let's wait, leave that be for now as well. We'll read the anomalies when we uh, actually start researching them. Construction complete. Okay, Fiona's... Fiona's is absolutely zero. Nothing. It's like the worst system ever. Like, there's nothing. <laughs> How can there be nothing? That's disturbing. Anomaly found. Yeah, leave that be as well. But thank you. Uh, let's see. 29 pops. When is the new one coming? Soon. Good timing. Thank you. Um, <laughs> how are we doing here? I think we'll be okay for a little bit longer concerning the consumer goods. So I am going to go for alloy production. Very standard. We now know without a doubt that a thriving biosphere is not something unique to New Leaf. Both the scientific community and the public at large are eager to learn more about the various forms of alien life found throughout the galaxy. Efforts to catalog the life forms we encounter are already underway, but our xenobiologists have urged us to focus our planetary survey efforts on habitable, life-bearing worlds. Commendable. Let's do Situation that. Situation log updated. Let's survey as many habitable worlds as we complete. possibly can. Okay, so we have gotten this under our control. Now we need, Ships I think, upgraded. 400 alloys to build System survey complete. a colony ship. No, 200. Oh, let's do it right now, then. Right now. Okay, give me a name that is good for this uh, world. Has to be leafy or, you know, planty. <laughs> it's a dud. Despite our best efforts, the excavation and analysis of the alien indicators on the surface have failed to deliver any relevant result. The archaeological teams have calculated and followed the paths of the alien signal beams, but nothing is being pointed at other than empty space. Scientists stock of silver have requested more time, convinced that something has been missed by the science teams. Continue. So we are already producing our first colony ship, which is good. And, 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 oh, unpause, Drujnik. <sighs> Nothing's gonna happen if you do not pause. Okay, I can work on ship design here. System survey complete. Oh, stop it. Yes, uh, we've detected life signs and coming from beneath a barren and lifeless surface of the moon. Yes, uh, research. That's only a hundred days. Let's get a missile boat. And you have nuclear missiles and they have shield and hull penetration, right? So if you have shield penetration, research then we can now complete. do armor. Dudes, I was working on things. Why do you keep giving me pop-ups when I'm being very serious? Okay, so I have that one. Get the other one in a second. Let's pick do research. Let's go for monthly unity for now. And here I would like... I am going to build research stations soon. But let's do polytechnic education to get extra leader experience gain. Uh, okay, now we can keep going, right? Yes, we can. And yeah, let's get the picket ship. Picket, picket, picket. And you get the uh, armor damage reduction. So... You need the red laser. Deflectors. Okay, there we go. And we found a site. Hole in the ground! Okay, look, cool. 
And the um, life forms, some kind of burrowing silicon-based life form, inhabits a vast network of tunnels beneath the barren surface of Oxidan 5A. As best as we can tell, the creatures feed off rocks, and there is evidence to suggest that they possess a rudimentary form of intelligence. Their tunneling efforts have shuffled large amounts of valuable minerals to the surface. Early lithoids? Hmm? <laughs> Ooh. Oh yeah, we knew that. Where's the other planet? There's usually two right around you. Where's the second one? Is it there? No. <laughs> Where is it gonna be? It's probably gonna be Construction over here. complete. Okay, you finish that. Now let's go make those research stations. And then... Hmm. Research complete. I guess we're gonna go for Oxidant because it does have minerals as well as energy. Now I want extra survey speed just briefly, and then we're gonna go for no. Well, I'm pretty sure that we are half. I mean, we we don't have a pacifist ethos, but we're grass. I mean, surely we are not very aggressive. Breakthrough study of the surface revealed that Scion was hit eons ago by a small asteroid. The impact was not enough to obliterate the planet but did nudge it a fraction out of its original orbit. By analyzing the impact, the scientists managed to calculate Sion's initial position and rotation, and use that data to rewind the alien indicators to their original position. And there it was. The alien indicator beam suddenly converging on another planet in the system. Amazing! We get a lot of minerals for that. So, let's see. So we did Sion, and now we have what? I don't see another site. Oh, yes, I do. No, I don't. Hello? Well, I guess it needs to... There we go. Something waiting. The previously discovered alien indicators are pointing at this planet. And we should go down on the surface and investigate further. Okay. So where is that one? On Joy? <laughs> joy. From Scion to Joy. So our colony ship is Research flying complete. over to Stimpsis, and I think this is a- Anomaly found. Well, I was- uh, I was trying to round up the episode. Uh, <laughs> let's, um, I don't know, go for metal armor, ceramic metal armor, and what else did I get? An anomaly. Backscattering spectrometry sensors indicate the presence of valuable substances. Yes, do it. Okay. With that, I'm going to end this episode for now. In the next one, we will be colonizing our very, very first second planet. <laughs> and uh, hopefully we'll meet future friends. We'll see. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit the like button and please consider subscribing. Helps out immensely. For the next few days, up until episode 5, I will be releasing episodes in this series every day. So the other series are on hold for now. And uh, after episode five, I will uh, I will rotate Total War Warhammer back into the um, into the rotation. But for now, expect another episode tomorrow. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.